you know, you're looking already at f in field goal range. Um, see what we can do here. He throws it right to Curse. Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? It is the man coming back at it again with another YouTube video. And today we're going to do a little gameplay video on Jarrell Casey. Check him out. See how he plays today. Who knows, maybe start him over Kevin Carter. But I think Kevin Carter honestly has better stats. Uh, and he's a little bit of a lower overall, but still, I think Kevin Carter, well, depending on how Jarrell Casey plays today, uh, that's who I'm going to, you know, start in the rotation, but let's go ahead and hop into the lineup. Before we do, though, uh, nine subs away from a thousand, guys. Go tell your mom, go tell your brother, go tell your sister, go subscribe to D-Man Does Mad. Nine subscribers away from 1K. As I'm recording this video, obviously, maybe by the time you're watching this, who knows, I might have, you know three four more subs uh but yeah help me out tremendously if you are new go ahead hit that sub button for me uh like i said nine subscribers away as i'm recording this video so yeah let's go ahead and hop into the defense now i did go over the defense a good bit yesterday so if you want to go ahead and uh you know check out yesterday's video i did a, a gameplay on jason mccordy um i think it's kind of silly that he's in a browns uniform but I do understand why, because I would understand completely how upset the Mutt community would be if there were two Titan flashbacks in the same group. And so, uh, you know, he played for the Browns for one year and played for Tennessee for eight years. So, you know, I think he should have been in a Titans uniform. But, you know, I understand why they put him in a Browns uniform. But here is Jarrell Casey. Now, the reason I have him at D-Tackle 2 is for the chemistries. I went over them yesterday. I'll go over them today as well. So the chemistries... This is very important. Getting locked down at 45 helps out the cornerbacks. It boosts Malcolm up to a 99. He's normally at 98, but when I got 45 locked down, he's up to 99. And alongside Jason McCourty and Desmond King, we are now at, uh, you know, every cornerback is a 99. All of our three starting cornerbacks are 99 overall. So that's why locked down at 45 is key for your Titans theme team. And also... Having 35 run stuff to go along with your 45 lockdown. This 35 is your number you'll want to get to with your run stuff because Albert Hainsworth is a 93 overall. He gets boosted up four overalls because of this run stuff. Kevin Carter, he's a 96, gets boosted up three overalls to 99. Um, Rashawn Evans, he's a 95. He gets boosted up three overalls with uh, run stuff. Now, also, you got to know, you know who, got, who gets Sprinter and who doesn't. So there's everyone with Sprinter, and uh, there's everyone with Brawler. You want to make sure you have uh, Rashawn Evans with Brawler, too, because uh, that boosts his overall up instead of having Sprinter on him. Uh, so make sure you have Brawler on Rashawn Evans and run stuff if you want to get him up to 98. Uh, and then you guys saw everyone else with Brawler there. So let's go ahead and check out Jarrell Casey. Now, when we get to the game, I'll go ahead and sub him in at right end. Now, the, you know, the reason I have him here is because he gets the secondary position D-tackle, which... Uh, is very important. Same with Jeffrey Simmons. Jeffrey Simmons also does get uh, the secondary position defensive tackle. That's why you also saw him in the D tackle four slot. So those are the only two right ends that we have that get that secondary position, which is very important uh, for the chemistries, as you guys saw there. Gets us just up to that run stuff threshold and that uh, lockdown threshold but let's go ahead and check out Jarrell Casey I know he says 93 but trust me he's a 99 at his normal spot at right end so here he is 80 speed 87 excel again not the fastest guy but he's more of a run stopper he's not going to be a pass rusher today so gonna watch him uh, against the run how he plays the run that's what you're really going to look for here in this guy that's why I do like Kevin Carter just for the speed uh, but we'll see how Jarrell Casey plays today uh, 99 strength 99 tackling 99 play rec 99 block shed 88 power move and 93 finesse move is a little bit of an issue too uh, low power move low finesse move you know I don't like that at all that's why I also like Kevin Carter a little bit more not only the speed but also the power move and finesse move goes to Kevin Carter also uh, but the block shed 99 is very nice so we'll have to see how that plays today also uh, what else does he have here that's notable um, 82 agility 80 speed 87 excel we went over that uh, 99 impact blocking and that's pretty much it there defensively we pretty much went over that at the top uh, hit power at 99 Play rec 99, pursuit 99, block shot 99, uh, and then we went over those uh, 99 tackle also. So pretty nice card, guys. Pretty nice card here in Jarrell Casey. Again, it says 93, but trust me, he is a 99. When I back out here, it should say 99 
if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and no, he doesn't. But anyway, if you guys want to see what he looks like at uh, right end, he's going to be... Um, I'm going to assume that he's going to be a 99 here. Uh, we do lose a couple of uh, chemistries when we sub out Kevin Carter here. So I'm going to do this just quickly to show you guys his actual overall in case you guys were wondering. And here he is. So he is a 99. Uh, but you guys see Albert goes down to a 96. Uh, Rashawn Evans goes down to a 97. Uh, just because we lose a couple of run stuff there. But we'll check out uh, Jarrell Casey here. He's a 99 there. So, yeah. So, 99 you see it on the card there so there you there you have it so he does get uh pretty much everything the same there but we'll go ahead and put kevin carter back at that position uh and then have Jarrell casey get subbed in there at right in and see how he plays today so yeah let's go ahead and hop into the game he's back baby all right guys hopping into this one there's our top three you see jason mccourty there uh, making his second appearance in our top three. There's his top three. Tom Brady, Sam Mills, and Isaac Bruce, all 99 overall. So this should be a fun one. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, here we go. Second play of the game. I wasn't in the right formation the first play, but let's see if we can get out there and make a tackle. There's Jadavion Clowney. I think the best user in the game right now, to be honest. I'm going to say it a lot, but Clowney, I, I seriously do think is the best user in the game. He gets Lurker on that frame of his is insane he's gonna go ahead and dump it off to jerry rice there desmond king able to make the tackle still gains a good bit though so yeah i do have um did go ahead and throw some abilities on jerrell casey i put unpredictable and reach elite on him i don't know if that's gonna help out at all but goodness gracious bo jackson dragon javon curse and clowny to the 50 all right here we go the 49, first and 10 once again. I might have to go ahead and start making some adjustments unless we can get a big hit there. Okay, solid tackle. Who was that? That was old Jarrell Casey. Little how do you do, baby? There we go, second and 10. Hey, there was no hole to be seen right there. So, uh, yeah, Casey did his job there on that play. Let's see what he's going to do. Low ball it. Okay, there we go, Desmond King. You know, forcing the incompletion. Third and 10. Can we get a stop? All right, yeah, that was that's, that is huge getting new corner because now we have three solid cornerbacks at all time on the field. So I like that a lot. Under center Brady is he's gonna drop back, he's gonna try and throw it. He got it, but he's gonna be about a yard short, maybe two yards short. Let's see what he's gonna do on fourth and two. I just don't see him running the ball here, but if he is, we're gonna try and hit a hole with Clowney. Can we do? He's got Bear in the backfield, so not his Bo Jackson. So. I doubt this is a run. We're going to watch out for a little stick concept here. And he's going to go out route to Isaac Bruce. He's got it to the 29 gain of 12 first down. All right, I did adjust my outside, guys. So I'm going to make sure they play outside this time. Uh, let's see if we can hit a hole here. Clowney, he cuts back inside. Barry gains a good bit up to the 23 gain of 6 that time. So it's second and four. We got to get a big hit with Clowney eventually. All right, once again... Same look here. I'm going to go hard flats this time. Um, in case it's a run, he does still have Bo Jackson in, and it is going to be a run. He cuts it up the field, and there is Jarrell Casey along with Leroy Glover making the tackle. Only gains one there. It's third and three. All right, let's go ahead and pinch everyone inside here. Um, gosh, I, I, I don't know why I don't, I don't have uh, Curse rushing, but... Another outside gainer. I should have went hard flats. I didn't. And he just got it up to the 11. It's first and 10. Just absolutely dotting me up and down the field right now. Can't do much about it. Staying in the same formation. Same coverage and everything. So it's probably not the best idea. But he's going to go under center this time. It's going to be a handoff. And look who's there to make the tackle. It's Leroy Glover. Alright. So I'm going to switch things up here. I'm going to go cover two. All I have to do is uh, all I have to do is watch the backside uh, corner. Uh, maybe if I can get over there with Clowney in time, but that's really the only uh, weakness in this defense. And who is that? That is Javon Curse. That's why we want to rush him every time. It's a sack. They're back to the twenty, and it's third and nineteen. All right, I feel more comfortable going cover three here now that he's backed up a good bit. Uh, let's go outside, shed outside on the uh, defensive backs here. Watch for the inside. He's got it. It's wide open. I picked the wrong seam, and he got it right over the top. I believe that was Desmond King that was right underneath there. Great throw, great catch, and he's got it. Unfortunately, unable to come away with the stop there. Red zone defense is normally always great. Actually, it was Logan Ryan right over his head, but, man, 
<sighs> that's tough. 30 19 at the 20, and he's able to convert. Uh, but yeah, that's tough. Field goal. Uh, extra point attempt on the way from a Sebastian Janikowski. Speaking of kickers, we might get one tomorrow with the Team Builder promo. I hope we do because we really do need one. Uh, but the Raiders are up 7 0. All right, guys, defense was really good. Couldn't get anything going there. I tried. Oh my God, I flipped the play already, and uh, we still can't get it. But there's Casey making another tackle on Bo Jackson as he looks to try and chew this clock off, I think, which is good for us because we do get ball back at half, so I wouldn't mind him chewing off this clock and not giving him a chance here. So go flip the play here, have Curse rushing off the edge. Just got to watch out for any cover three beaters. Uh, make a tackle, make a tackle. All right, he might call timeout here. And he is not. Okay, so end of the half. We get ball back at half, so I'll see you on next defensive possession. And once again, I think we're going to get robbed, guys. I had a cover three bomb, and I, I don't know what had happened, but Randy was just absolutely gassed, and I made sure the play before to make sure that everyone was fresh and everyone was a dark blue, uh, you know, and everyone's good to go. And then Randy has five steps on a dude, and he just slows down right when the ball's released. Just the most frustrating thing ever. We had it six points on the board, but instead, it's a pick, and uh, we're on defense again. So, yeah, what a great start to the day. Hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic day. I certainly am not, uh, but let's see if we can go out, come out here and make a play defensively. It's going to be a run here to Bo, and that, there's just no hole for him. All right, let's see what we can do here. Third and six. I'm going to go hard flats and trust that he tries to go short with it. Looking over the middle, I got that covered. And look who it is. Who is that? Leroy Glover. He's got three tackles and a sack. Man, I was hoping that would be Jarrell Casey, but Leroy Glover. This dude ain't even a 99 yet. I mean, he's kimmed up to a 99, but wait till tomorrow, man. This dude is This dude's going to even get better. That's crazy. All right, this is what I'm scared about here. This is what I'm scared about. I, I, I've got to go ahead and look for the seams here. And look who it is this time. It's going to be Curse keeping us alive in this one. Curse has two sacks. Leroy has one. And we are right back in business at midfield. Let's go. All right, in case this happens again, I just want to record this. But, uh, again, he's using that guy up front. And look how open Randy Moss is. That's off my back foot. That's just a bad throw. Um... Yeah, that was not a good, uh, you know, example there. But think about not getting pushed back into the pocket so much. But that that that's a touchdown there. If I, you know, set my feet through the ball, which exact that's exactly what I did earlier in this game, and uh, I just forced one there. I shouldn't have done that. That was stupid. I was so 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 stupid. I mean, for him to go for it on fourth down, it's kind of crazy. Uh, but. You see why. His defense is stopping me every time. There's Jarrell Casey getting this tackle for me. Bo's only got, you know, eight carries for 28 yards. I'll take that. But, I mean, he can hit the flats whenever he wants to, and I think he knows that. He's kind of just setting me up right now. Oh, we threw it right at Clowney. Clowney got it. Big play. Big play. Jadavion Clowney. I kind of baited, kind of didn't. I just sat there. He threw it right at me, so I was like, hey. I'll take it, but that would have been big if we could take that back. That's exactly what we needed. Another big play by the defense, but can the offense come through? That's the question. All right, guys, and the question has been answered quite quickly as we throw our third pick of the game. So clearly no, and Clowney runs right past Bo Jackson. God almighty, please help me. Yeah, I mean, we had our chance. We had our chance several times, guys. We got to stop at midfield. We got to pick at our own or at his 20. Rip it out, Clowney, almost. I mean, I don't even have our things set to aggressive, and Clowney still try to do that. I respect that a ton. Uh, let's see here. Inside. Tipped up. Ooh, that was close. Almost. It could have been another pick, but it's not third and nine. I'm still trying to get the hang of things here with Clowney, user, and him. Uh, it is a little bit different, definitely, uh, but he's able to make the tackle there, and it's at the 35, and it's going to be fourth and eight. Let's see what he's deciding to do here. He's probably going to go for it because he knows, or he's going to punt it. Okay, honestly, honestly, that's definitely a good decision on his part because he knows good and dang well that I can't move the ball against him. So it's going to be Shane Leckler here kicking this one off to Dion. we got to get glitchy here, Dion. Uh, excuse me, Dion. I mean, Barry. Uh, Barry Sanders up to the 27-yard line. It's... Uh, it's going to be a tough one, but we'll, we'll definitely give it, give it our best shot. All right, so gave it our best shot, and he came away with a pick once again. So 
Yeah, guys. Y'all really don't want to watch these offensive possessions, but that that's gotta be a that's gotta be a fumble at least, man. But hey, at least y'all are getting some good gameplay defensively because you know featuring um, Jarrell Casey today, uh, and he gets one to the outside and he got it to the 11. So pretty nice gain there up to the 11, first and 10. And honestly, th we could have definitely won this game with a pick by Clowney there. Um, as Bo bounces right off that tackle by Clowney, gets up to the six. But like I was saying, after the pick by Clowney, if you go back to the first quarter or so um, and go back to his first score, it was a third and 19 at the 20-yard line. I'm going to go ahead and spy my safeties. I'm thinking he's going to run this ball. Um, but if we get a stop there and hold him to three um, and, and we get the pick with Clowney later on in the game, you know, you're looking already at in field goal range. Um, so what do here. He throws it right to Curse. Javon Curse. Oh my God, a big block. Logan Ryan. Javon Curse breaking free. He threw it right at me. And we're still alive. Do not catch him. Marcel Reese. Do not catch him. Marcel Reese. Curse is gone. Javon Curse. A 101 yard big six to tie the game if we can make the extra point. Or do we fake this? No, we're, there's no way. I, I don't know. Do we? I, I can't do that. A hundred yard pick six for Javon Curse. Are you kidding me? The big fella rumbling all the way down. We got to make this extra point though. Got to make the extra point. Oh my God! Did I miss it? I don't think I did. It's straight on through Greg Joseph. But we did. We still do need a kicker tomorrow. Hopefully for our uh, team builder, we do get a kicker. That would help out tremendously. But bang bang, the game was over, and he threw the ball at me, and we get a chance. Let's go. Unbelievable. Can we just play solid defense and get to overtime here? He's going to go play action. He's looking to go sideline, and he almost threw it right at Desmond King. Yeah, I think that could have been a pick, guys. I'm not I'm not even lying. If, if we get in front of that route, that's a pick. But again, he can still win this game with a field goal, so we still got to play very, very smartly here and not go for anything silly as underneath. We overplay it again. Logan Ryan was there, and he gets another completion, another ballsy throw that he gets completed up to the 45. He's got a timeout, 19 seconds, so I'd say two or maybe three plays he's got here uh, with 19 seconds on the clock and a timeout. But again, guys, again, one defensive play away. I'm shading outside. Let's see what he does here. He's going that way, and it's going to be oh, under pressure. That could have been a pick. But it's incomplete, second and 10, 15 seconds. He still has his timeout, so I've, I'd assume there's still amount of plays, two or three, uh, depending on, you know, if they're like that or not. Uh, but if he stays in bounds, obviously he's going to have to use his timeout. So if he gets out of bouncing, save that timeout. So we'll have to see what he does. Man, I came out with the wrong defense, so I had to call timeout there. But back in it here, Curse, get some pressure for me, baby. Come on, Javon. He throws it right down the seam, incomplete. Oh my goodness, that could have been complete. I cannot believe he did not catch that. That would have been ball game because all he had to do was kick his three. But here we go. Got to get one stop. One stop here. All right, guys. I, I, we just got to watch out over the middle. Got to watch out over the middle. Shade outside. I've got to watch two routes here with Clowney. Um, let's see what he does here. Over the middle. Inside. He's got it. Unbelievable. I left him wide open. I was going over the middle to guard that route, and he's going to call a timeout here. With four seconds, and it's going to end it for us. Unbelievable. I don't even think we could have kept up with that route with Clowney. Oh, my God. What a game, though, man. What a game. We we end with four interceptions and almost force overtime. I want to just try and ice him one time here. Oh, man, that's tough. All right, here we go. Can we get a block with Janoris Jenkins? Let's see if we can. Let's see. Again, he does have... He doesn't have focus kicker, but he does have... Um, or he does have focus here. He doesn't have clutch kicker. But it doesn't matter because it's straight on through. And we lose the game on a game-winning field goal. We definitely deserve to lose this game. I'm not going to lie, guys. With four interceptions, man, you, you, you don't win games with four interceptions. I'm going to just say that. So we got bailed out by the defense there late. Curse with a 100-yard pick six. That would have been nice. Uh, honestly, well, even if we did fake the uh, extra point and went for two and got it, he still would have won the game with the extra or with the field goal. Who knows? Uh, maybe he had a little bit more pressure against him, so maybe he wouldn't have been able to get field goal range if we went for two and got it. But again, a bunch of questions you could ask about this game. But obviously, 
Raiders end up winning it. And yeah, so let's go ahead and check out Jarrell Casey one more time. All right, guys, that is going to do it for the gameplay. But for real life news, it looks like this was earlier this morning. Uh, but the NFL is expected to pass a rule that will relax jersey number restrictions. So that means quarterbacks can now be, uh, I believe this was before, but uh, quarterbacks numbers 1 through 19, they can choose from those numbers. Wide receivers, this is a change here, 1 through 49 and 80 through 89. Running backs also has a change too. They can be numbers 1 through 49. Uh, also to uh, from 80 to 89 and the tight ends the same thing 1 through 49 and uh, 80 to 89 for them as well so Derrick Henry may go back to that uh, you know classic number two that he wore uh, you know obviously at Alabama when he played there uh, and also uh, I believe like some preseason games he, he wore number two for about like maybe two or three games I do remember that very vaguely but I, I do remember that uh, but I think this would definitely be awesome because I know a lot of guys that were single digits in in in, in college, uh, you know, and they, then they had to switch up uh, when they came into the NFL. Obviously, AJ Brown's one of those guys too. He went from one, I believe, he was number one in uh, at Ole Miss, and now he's number eleven. Um, so obviously, I think uh, Warren Moon has uh, retired that number. Uh, Houston Oilers slash Tennessee Titan. That's a retired number in our organization. So obviously, he can't do that, but. Uh, you know, that's just another example there, but I'm sure there's a ton of a, a ton of NFL players that would love to go back to their, you know, classic college number or, you know, n number they wore throughout their, you know, when they were growing up, maybe they wore a number throughout high school and their college, and then they had to change it when they got to the NFL. So I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a there's a good bit of guys out there that uh, that had to change their number when they got to the NFL. So um, I think this would be, pr uh, would be pretty cool. Uh, for them to pass this rule, um, and I wouldn't mind Derrick Henry being, uh, you know, in a number two uniform. I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, here's Jarrell Casey. Uh, enough with the real life news. Jarrell Casey, here he is. Beautiful stats. Like I said, uh, he had a few tackles today. Not bad at all. Um, you know, I think he had like three, four tackles today. Uh, Leroy Glover did go off today. Not gonna lie, but you know, Curse had that great play. Unfortunately, we were able to, uh, you know, we, were, we weren't able to win the game, but again, you're going to win some, going to lose some. That's always my motto. Uh, so, yeah, with that being said, Jarrell Casey, 99 overall, solid card. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep Kevin Carter there just for the speed sake of things. That way, you know, if Kevin Carter and, and you know, quarterback gets outside the pocket, Kevin Carter has a more likely chance uh, than Jarrell Casey to catch that guy. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to stick with Kevin Carter at right end, you know, since Kevin Carter still does get up to 99 uh, as well as Jarrell Casey, but uh, so yeah, it doesn't really hurt the overall sake of things with me playing Kevin Carter over Jarrell Casey because they both get up to 99 overall, uh, you know, and Kevin Carter just gets a little bit more uh, speed, uh, but yeah, still great playing today by Jarrell Casey. Had a couple tackles there, three, four tackles, uh, but yeah, hopefully we do see some upgrades here in the future. Obviously, we're going to get a team builder tomorrow, so whoever that is, depending on if it's a kicker. Uh, you know, I might not do a kicker gameplay, but who knows? We might do a kicker gameplay tomorrow uh, just to get a gameplay out there for you guys. But maybe we get like a safety, uh, Kevin Byard or something like that. But I really want Kevin Byard to be our LTD. That way he's a higher overall. That way he's probably going to be a 99 overall at a strong safety. So I wouldn't mind a kicker tomorrow. That's going to be, be my prediction. I'm going to say Steven Guskowski. We go ahead and uh, get him as a 95 overall tomorrow. So that will definitely help out us because we've been rocking with a core goal kicker for the entire year, all the way until, what's today's date? Uh, April what? April 8th? So April 9th from, I don't know when the game launched, like, you know, September all the way up to April 9th. It, unless we don't get a kicker tomorrow, which I don't expect. I expect us to get a kicker tomorrow because that's a desperate need for us. Uh, but yeah, for about September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, about seven, almost seven months, guys, where we, we had a goal kicker for the entire year. So, yeah, I do expect us to get a kicker tomorrow. So, really, really do hope that's the case. Helps us out tremendously there. But, yeah, very close to 1,000 subscribers. Can y'all go ahead and make it happen? We'll see. Uh, but, yeah. Hey, I, I've seen the comments, guys. I know what you guys are wanting. You guys want the face reveal. We will make it happen if you guys get me to 1K. I'll go ahead and confirm in this video. We will make it happen. But, yeah. If you stuck around this time of the video, I do appreciate that. If you haven't left a, uh, left a like already, go ahead and do so. Uh, and, and yeah, if you are new and you're still sticking around this far in the video, definitely go ahead and drop a sub for me. It does help me out tremendously. But yeah, with that being said, that is going to do it 
for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. And until next time, I'll see y'all.